In order to make the non-traditional Shaolong Bao, these are the things you're going to need. You're also going to need a large pot with a lid. A metal steamer. And also two bamboo steamers with a lid that you're going to put on top of the metal steamer. I'm going to set aside some chives and one of the shiitake mushrooms for the garnish. Trim the base of the chives and then go ahead and chop up the chives into tiny little pieces. When you're done with that, go ahead and scoop up the chives and put it into a bowl. For the shiitake mushrooms, I like to trim off the stems. Typically for these dumplings, we don't use mushrooms. However, I wanted to keep the dumplings moist. Mushrooms, when cooked, release liquid, and that liquid will act as a soup. Slice and dice the shiitake mushrooms. When you're finished, scoop them up and put them in a bowl. Off the base of the garlic. When you're prepping food, try to keep all your trash on one side and keep your station clean. Use the side of your knife and press down on the garlic to crush them. This makes it easier for you to remove the outer layer of shell skin of the garlic. Mince the garlic, so you're going to thinly slice the garlic, turn it on the side, and then slice those slices so that you have tiny little pieces. Scoop them up in a container and set them on the side. Use the vegetable peeler to peel the outer part of the ginger. For difficult to reach areas, use a spoon to scrape away the outer part of the ginger. Place the grater across the bowl of ground pork and grate the ginger. Tap the grater every so often to release the grated ginger. Use a spoon to scoop away any buildup. Grate as much or as little amount of ginger as you like. Take the remaining ginger and cut them into matchsticks or julienne them. Make thin slices, flip them 90 degrees, and slice them again. This is to be provided for the dipping sauce. In a large bowl, I have two pounds of ground pork, the grated ginger, I'm adding all of the garlic, all of the chives, and all of the mushrooms. I'm going to add one egg. going to add about one tablespoon of sesame oil. I'm also going to add about one tablespoon of dark mushroom flavored soy sauce. I'm adding white pepper to taste. A little bit of sea salt also to taste. That shot glass has a tablespoon of coconut flour. First, mix everything together. You can use your hand or a spoon. I'm adding the coconut flour and mixing it all together. You can also use cornstarch if you want. Try to purchase thin, pliable dumpling wrap. A little saucer of water. Okay, here we go. Take a dumpling wrapper, place it in your palm. Take a heaping spoonful of meat mixture, put it in the center of the dumpling. A little bit of water around the wrapper. Try not to use too much or else it'll get soggy. Fold the dumpling into a triangle and 
with your thumbs, you're going to make some pleats all around. So pleat, press, and rotate. Pleat, press, rotate. If you can do that all the way around, you'll be good to go. The first couple ones you make are going to look really weird, or at least mine did, and I found that when I did 15 to 16 pleats, the dumplings kind of ended up looking better. So try to aim for 15 to 16 pleats. I used a little too much water in these first couple ones. But anyways, when you get towards the end, you're gonna twist the top of the dumpling and squeeze it. Again, meat in the middle, a little bit of water, it's a little too much. Fold it into a triangle. Make sure the meat is all the way pressed down into the dumpling. Use your thumbs to secure everything and make some pleats like that and squeeze like that and squeeze. So do that a couple of times and make sure you rotate the dumpling. I suppose you could use circular dumpling wrappers. However, I feel as though the square wrappers give you a little bit more space to work with as in you can put more meat filling in the dumpling. You can already see that this dumpling could have had a little bit more filling in there since there's so much of the wrapper left on top. Anyways, twist, squeeze, and that's it. If you're having trouble wrapping the dumpling in your palm, you can actually do this on the table or on the cutting board. So it's going to be the same way. Make a triangle, make some pleats, squeeze the pleat, rotate the dumpling, do that all the way around. If you don't like the little pointy parts at the top, you can just push that down. This recipe made 64 dumplings. Not all of them came out nice, but it's a work in progress. Let's steam them. You can use a little bit of parchment paper or wax paper, so just cut a square, fit it in the steamer, fold the edges, and then you're going to take out the paper and flip it over that way you don't have any edges sticking up and then you need to make sure that you cut some holes so that the steam can escape now you can add the dumplings in the steamer just make sure that the dumplings aren't touching because if they are they're probably going to get stuck together this is the other way you can prepare the steamer it's using a napa cabbage leaf so again, fit that leaf into the steamer, add the dumplings, make sure they don't touch each other, stack the steamers, and remember the garnishes that we put on the side, you're going to put that back on top, that way they can get steamed together with the dumplings. Don't forget to put the steamer lid on top. Next I'm going to add about two cups of water into the pot and put the steamers on top of the metal steamer. I do that so that the bamboo steamers don't touch the sides of the pot or get burnt. And close that pot, turn on the heat to high. Once you hear the water bubbling, then you can add 15 minutes to the timer and it's gonna cook for 15 minutes. 
there's going to be steam coming out through the lid so be very careful it's very very hot while that's going for 15 minutes you can do the least favorite thing wash dishes okay now they're done so remove the lid carefully it's very hot and open up the steamer basket and ta-da there you have it finished xiaolongbao I actually like to serve it in the basket however if you don't want to serve them in the basket and you want to plate them you can just put them on a nappy cabbage like so and be careful the skin of the dumpling is very thin thanks for watching and hope you try it out it's not traditionally how you make shalom bao but it's a different way of making it if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe to my channel it's the fall and hit that thumbs up like button leave a comment below and follow me on my social media bye